Alright guys, just a quick update because quite a few people have been asking me for a little sample of what I've uploaded to Udemy. So what I've done here is just attached about eight or nine lectures from one of the projects that we'll be creating. And this one is going to be the real-time chat using Vue and Firebase. So I've uploaded these eight or nine lessons from this chapter so you can see what the course is like at a glance. Again, there will be two other projects that we build in the course as well. And if you do enjoy these at any point, feel free to sign up. The link is always going to be down below in the description to sign up for the course, as well as the coupon NinjaYT18 to get the course for $9.99. So enjoy, and if you like it, feel free to buy. All right then, gang. So far, we've been using the Firestore to store our data in. And then when we've wanted to retrieve or change that data, we've reached out to it manually to grab that data. What we've not done yet is explore the real-time capabilities of the Firestore. And this is a huge, huge part of it that's really, really good. But what does that even mean, real-time capabilities? Well, we can create an application on the front end in Vue and hook that up to a Firestore instance, much like we did in the last chapter, in the last project. Then we can set up a listener in our front end view application, which is actively listening for changes in the database, such as a document being added, deleted or changed. And when one of those changes occurs, our app knows about it because we've set up that listener and it pulls down the updated data automatically. And this happens without us having to make any additional requests for data or reloading the page. So we'll be using this whole idea and technique of real-time data in this chapter to create this real-time chat application. So let's just have a quick demo. I've got two windows open here, two different browsers, both at the same address up here. So let's just enter a name for each one, Mario and Luigi. And when we add something in this chat window over here, it's gonna update in both of them. So if I say, hey dude, and then press enter, it's going to appear here and also in a second here. So he sees it as well. So Luigi can say something back, yo, and Mario will see it as well. And then Mario can say, fancy a game of Mario Kart. And then Luigi can answer, anytime, any place. So this is real-time data updates in action. We're adding data to Firestore in one window and it's automatically updating in the other a second later. So this is what we'll be creating in this chapter. So let's just get the project up and running by starting a fresh project with the Vue CLI. So I'll open up my text editor and then I'm in the Vue-Firebase directory, completely empty because I've deleted all of the old files. Then we'll create a new Vue project by saying Vue init webpack, which is the template name, and we'll call this project ninja-chat. Press enter and it's going to walk us through the steps of creating this project. Okay, so the project name is Ninja Chat, Vue.js project, that's fine. Author is fine. Runtime plus compiler. Install the Vue router. Yes, we'll need that. ESLint, nope. Unit test, no. And Nightwatch, no. We will use NPM and that's going to install our project for us. Okay then, so that's the project created. And if we open up this folder on the left, we should see all of those different files inside. So now we have that sorted, in the next video, what we'll do is just take a couple of minutes to talk about how we're gonna tackle creating this application and discuss the project structure.